Hello, I am Daniel Simmons, and in this video I will be comparing the book All You Need Is Kill to the movie adaptation Live, Die, Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow, All You Need Is Kill, whatever you want to call the movie version, because it has three different names. Let's get to it. In the book, our main character is named Kinji Kiari. Uh, I probably messed that up, but uh, yes, he's got a Japanese name, but... Uh, through the whole thing, I kind of just called him Light Yagame or L because he looks like if they had a child. And in the movie, we have Tom Hanks. I was about to say Tom Hanks. Oh my goodness. Now in the live action movie, we have Tom Cruise playing William Cage. And it's a pretty good job. He's very comedic. And they're obviously, when if you read the book and watch the movie, there are two different roles. The book is a lot more serious and has a different plot form plot line and the movie has a different plot line with a little bit more humor than the book would. In the book it starts us off at what we can assume was the first battle in which the main character gains the ability to relive the same day over and over in the battlefield and in the movie it starts off a little before the battle and how he got into that position where in the book he willingly was in the army and the in the book I believe her name is pronounced right or Rita um, either way in the movie they actually kept her name the same and you can see played by Emily Blunt and that's exactly how they spell Rit or Rita in the manga so, the two characters you see on the DVD cover are the two characters you see throughout the whole movie the most, with a few other characters that try to figure out what is happening, where he is, and stuff. Now, in the book, there are a lot more characters that got cut out from the movie, and including the person who creates the weapons. In the book, uh, the usage of swords or blunt object kind of weapons are a lot more useful than guns because they explain how when you use a gun you can run out of ammo but if you're using an axe or a sword you can kill a lot. Another thing that differs are the aliens. In the manga slash book what you wish to call it they look more like sea urchins than they do in the movie which in the movie they look kind of like some kind of matrix like monster now I'm going to talk about the plot, so spoiler alert, you have been warned. In the movie, uh, it's revealed that to, because of the fact that um, he can, the main character can see like the day and live it every second he die after he dies over and over again, it's revealed that to stop this, he has to go and kill the big matrix monster-like thing that... It controls all the other smaller Matrix monsters. In the book, it's revealed that he asked, um, what because he and the female main character, they both can live the same day over and over. They both have the power that one of them has to die. There can only be one. And so it leaves us at a... So the book leaves us with a conclusion of the two, two main characters having a battle to the death. I will not spoil who wins or loses, whereas in the movie, only one of our characters, Tom Cruise's character to be specific, has the ability to live the same day over and over, therefore the plot lines kind of switch up and we don't have to have this battle of there can only be one kind of fight thing going on. Another thing I'd like to point out is how I mentioned the book has a lot more characters. We also get a, a lot of side plot lines where we get to see the main character, kind of the male main character, figure out, okay, so this is this person, that's what their job in the army base is. This is this person. Also, in the both of them, they have, they're set in different locations. One, the movie is set mainly on the battlefield. The book is set mainly at the base of the army. So, that has been most of the differences between the book and the live action. If you're asking which one's better, I suggest buy them both and make the decision for yourself. They're both really good works of fiction, and they have different points of view, 
and one tell the book tells a lot more stories. The movie tells a pretty good story. It's supposed to be getting a sequel eventually. And see you in the next review video or whatever it is.